finally get to meet the first female film director out of Brunei. How did the whole thing come about? There's not a lot of content about Brunei. Actually, a lot of people don't know anything about Brunei, and it's just, and it's just the right time. When did that first initiative happen? In Brunei, it's really like working from ground zero. I would imagine so. Yeah, like we don't have an industry and we don't have any film bodies or commissions or associations, nothing. One day I came across, um, we call it Brunei Economic Development Board, and they're just so supportive. And they actually gave me a fund. Hmm. It was $150,000 to help develop my story. But, to, and that, story. but you needed more to actually get the film right. in of production. Right, it's not <laughs> enough. Yeah. So then you keep knocking on different doors. Eventually, how long did it take you to finish the film Yasmin, which won a couple of big awards? Four years start to finish. What were your biggest challenges? Number one, getting the money. <laughs> Number two, you literally have to fly everybody in fly equipment in so you can imagine the visas, the customs and yeah, so and we have a very green team so it's like first time for everybody so it's a steep learning curve. Once the film was done, was it difficult to get the name out that this is the first motion picture produced in Brunei? I think the universe was on our side but there was already a lot of interest. Mm. I think primarily because it's coming out of Brunei. Uh, second, maybe because I'm a female director. Also, the fact that it's Silat. And do you think that uh, your initiative is reflective of the Bruneian woman spirit? Definitely. Brunei is full of very, very strong women. You're on to your next big project. What's that about? So, in fact, I'm working on uh, my next feature film. But I'm also um, in the midst of building a film school. In Brunei. In Brunei. To nurture the, grow, the next generation. Because right? I told you we are ground zero. Yeah, we just need to start building. And making one film is not enough to create an industry. Hmm. So education is the place to start. What are some of the greatest lessons that you've learned amidst all of your trial and error? I think always to be yourself and to listen to what your heart says. And that's it.